hi lovelies hi everyone so today we actually are going to learn how to make local pancakes and first of all what you have to think about whenever you think about making local pancakes that is um yellow bananas then you also have to think about cassava flour then after that then you think about uh, mixing them together and then making a dough out of it so um most people literally use different types of ban like yellow bananas but for as long as i know like we use those small tiny yellow bananas because they literally make the local pancakes that is kawalagala in my language so sweet and tasty so there you can see like we used a whole a whole bunch of yellow bananas so that we literally make the bananas sweet because most people literally add in a little bit of sugar and then some water because you don't have to make the dough to be so um like so soft it has to be in the middle soft and hard so these are the beautiful fresh yellow bananas that i'm literally talking about most people eat them and others think about using them for some beautiful snacks like local pancakes so there as you see you keep on pressing them until they turn into that form but before doing that remember to wash your hands thoroughly so that you see the cassava flour that is literally put into the saucepan that is containing the yellow bananas so you keep on mixing very well until the yellow bananas that have been pressed and the cassava flour mix up very well and uh form into a door when you get done with the pressing and then making that the yellow bananas and the cassava flour that you have is literally at least enough for the kind of people that you are or for the number of people that you literally are at home so living in the country where you can literally buy everything at the market or supermarket like at least you have to put it in mind like how am i going to save when i'm literally buying everything at the supermarket so what you have to do is learn how to sometimes make your own snacks at home which is literally something so good that you will also bless your children if they learn how to make this kind of things at home because then everything needs to be bought from the supermarket because even those people who literally bring them at the supermarket they make them in their own hands so what does it take for you to get uh, to learn how to do this you can give it a try go get your yellow bananas get your cassava flour do it at this time and then see how it literally come out so that is our oil that is being put onto the frame that is the gas cooker and then we literally trying to let it heat up to the point where you have to put in your local pancakes after they have been formed out of from that dough so that is our um cassava flour that is being put up onto the the what the the table so that when you're kneading it and rolling it onto the the table it literally doesn't stick onto the table like it is removed off from the table very well so you get any object that is going to make out a beautiful size and a beautiful shape so that was a glass that was used to cut out the shape that are so are similar to each other so that it's easier for you to see the beautiful shapes of these local pancakes so you can li literally remove them using um a knife as you see remove out the parts that have come out very well and then take out those that have not formed so that you knead it again and then make other beautiful sizes of local pancakes so after our 
oil heating up you can see that those pancakes are literally turning out to be golden brown so if you see that they have turned out golden brown that is why you're going to get them out from the heated up oil and then put them um into our sieve that they can drain out the the cooking oil and then after that you can transfer them into a bowl or a container that is going to be keeping them for eating so you can see that the cooking oil is literally like cooked up very well for it to like give us the good golden beautiful local pancakes so you see that the shape are literally in size and they're having that similar size there is no a big one or a small one so it gives the equality of your local pancakes and makes them look so good and adorable so one advice that i would like to give anyone out there learn how to make these snacks by yourself